Take one. All right, cameras ready. Set. Action. All right, Joe, because y'all been holding on to y'all money too long. Time for y'all to let it go. Yes. I'm Robert Slogan, and I play Rory. Okay, so you're actually the producer of the film. How did you come about producing? And how many films have you done before this? Well, this will be my first project that I actually completed. I started on several projects, and you know I had mishaps. It's this independent route, man. It's very difficult, man. But now that I have a good solid team and dedicated actors, we get in, we get it out, and this is the first of many, many projects. So, have you collaborated on projects with anybody else that's been completed? Or yeah, short um, films or anything like that? The web series Streets of ATL, Streets of Atlanta. I, I star in it um, as Dragonhead, and we're completing that. And it's been getting a big buzz. Okay, that's awesome. So, the name of this project is Tunk. Can you tell me how the concept of that came about? Well, um, a acting buddy of mine by the name of Tony Bravado. We were talking about collaborating, and he told me, he was like, Rob, you're a genius, man. He like, you have a plethora of work, but this requires heavy budgets. It was like, try. I'm going to challenge you to make a film with a limited number of cast members and a limited amount of, um, you know, um, filming places. I'm sorry. You know, a limited amount of scene, scenery. And um, I actually was able to do that. I just thought of it. I was thinking to myself, and I saw a deck of cards, and I was like, I'm going to call it spades. But Tunk, I'm like, you can get high drama when you get a collection of people together and different personalities, and you have something to make them in common, something in common, and something, that, you know, a group of people that are close, like, you have characters who went to college together, friends who grew up together, relatives, and so there's so many different scenarios can come from that alone. And so I'm like, Tunk, that's what I'm going to do. We'll call it Tunk. Young blood, how many times I got to tell you it wasn't me that put the funny money in the pot? Clips. Quiet on set, yeah, action. What's up, man? How you doing What's today? I'm all good, man. How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. Yeah, how you feeling? I'm great. You sure? Awesome. What's that? Today is Saturday. Okay, go ahead. You go. So <laughs> check it out. All right. What's your name and what's your character's name? My real name in real life is Glenn Cummings, a.k.a. Lonnie, a.k.a. Sweet Daddy, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me right now. It's all good. What's up? I won't be calling you Sweet Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell my <laughs> So how you come how you come in contact with getting on this getting this part for this production? Oh man, long story. Long story. I was at home sitting on the couch, unemployed, because I just got off work. And uh had to be at work in the morning, but Rob called me up. You know, say, hey yo, what are you? you know, and then um next thing I know, I'm here. I'm at his mom's house and we filming and we just doing the thing. Man, yeah. That's good. That's what's yeah. up, man. Yeah. So, Good. It's a great connection. Yeah. All right, so how was the experience being on this project? Overall, this is probably about the 14th film that I've done. Okay. You've probably never seen any of them because they haven't been released yet. But um, <laughs> but overall, it was good. It was real good. You know, the cast is tight. Ladies, it's fine. I don't know what. I'm going to tell them I said that. Mom ain't going to tell them they fine. Yeah, they fine. Yeah, yeah. But uh, overall, I mean, it was a real good experience. That's great. So give me a brief description of your character. Lonnie. Lonnie is like the uncle, you know, the uncle of uh, Roy. And, uh, you know, Lonnie want to teach this, you know, young blood, you know, how to do this, how to do that. Roy, of course, is on another tip, you know, as far as coming up the right way. <clears throat> Lonnie don't want to let go of the, 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 the youth and he want to hold on, you know, she, she, this girl I'm with, yo, yo, she bangs, she bangs. But, you know, she also 16. You know, but I'm not Kelly or R, either one. I do want to say it. It don't matter. But, but, you know, the bottom line is I'm trying to teach them something. They trying to teach me something. And, you know, kind of like class with that. But you got to see the film, you know, to get it all. And on the Sweet Daddy side, 
Y'all it's all good, man. That's what's up. So do you play Tunk in real life? In real life, I'm old school, baby. You see me? I got a leather hat on. I got my New York shirt on. I play Tunk, Spades, Dead Wiz, Checkers Chess, Dominoes, you name it. Okay, Spades, you play A-side, you play Joker, Joker, Deuce, Deuce. Joker, Joker, Deuce, Deuce. Okay. That's the only way to do it, man. Okay, okay. That's the only way. All right, so you're originally from New York. Born in Queens. Okay. One of Queens in the building. Queens. What's your, what's your handle? How can people contact you? You can reach me on Robert's Facebook because I'm AKA Undercover Brother. And, uh, <laughs> and on a real tip, uh, you call me on, on Instagram, Chief G Cummings. On Facebook, Heritage Gathering. You'll see me right there. And uh, shout out to Mom and everybody else. <laughs> All right, good job. That's what's up. <laughs> you know, you uh, So what's your name and what's your character's name? My name is Kelly and I play Destiny. I'm Wanya's girlfriend. Okay, that's good. So what brought you to the film? Who introduced you to this project? For me and Rob will talk about it when I work and then we'll discuss and I'm like, that sounds cool. I told him I wanted to try different things. I said I was going to make a YouTube channel because I was talking about natural hair products and stuff. So. Okay, that's good. So this is your, your first film project? Yes, yeah, it's my very first time really doing anything like this. Okay, so are you excited? Yes, I was actually very excited. I was telling him I want to try something different, do different things. And I want, a lot of people tell me I should go and do a film and be on some IT shows. So. Okay, so give me a brief description of your character. That's been kind of laid back. She play her role, kind of stay out the mix. She got a little dirt on the side though, you know. She do what she do, but she kind of stay low about it. Okay, so... How was the experience working with the other cast members? The cast members was great. It was real fun. You know, I'm the youngest out of everybody, but it was real cool getting to know everybody and the different characters. Okay, that's great. So how can everybody reach you? You can follow me at Instagram, kels, K -E dot L dot S. All right. Good job. I mean, embarrassing me and my husband in front of all our loved ones? Why? It was your idea to just be friends. I loved you then, and I still love you. Look, Patrick, it was just... Action. Hey, brother, how you doing today, man? Hey, what's up, man? So, what's, what's your name and what's your name of your character? My name is Mikhail Jones. The character I'm playing is Patrick. All right, what, where are you originally from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. So, what got you into acting? All uh, right, it was just really last minute opportunity. Um, I'm real close with the writer and director. Um, Robert. So he, he called and hit me up, and next thing you know, I was in the film, so this is my first time. Oh, so this is your first project? This is my first project, first time acting, first time being anywhere with a crowd, being in any type of film. So, so were you, are you excited, or what, what was the mood of doing it? Are you, are you hesitant? Were you, like, scared? Like, what? I was super nervous, but it was it was a great opportunity for me to come out of my shell, trying try new things, trying to open up a little more, trying to grow. Okay, sound good. So give me a brief description of your character. Uh, the character I'm playing, Patrick, uh, he a little shady type of guy, you know, seemed like a pretty boy more so, um, definitely a lover. He's best friends with um, Maya. So that shows a lot, a little bit about him. You know, he got his eyes on certain situations, another man situation actually, and he's tr trying to get whatever he wants by any means necessary, even if it means stirring up a little trouble. Okay, so he the real playboy type. Uh, I don't think uh, the playboy type. Okay. I think more of the messy type. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you really did enjoy working on the project. Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed working on the project. It was definitely something different for me. All the cast members it was pretty cool. Everybody, you know, with it being my first time, made me feel comfortable. All right, so how can everybody reach you, man? Give me your Instagram, some kind of social media. Uh, my Instagram is M Jones ATL. All right, that's good. Thank you, bro. I'm not gonna stop him from whooping your ass. You crossing the line, man. I told you to chill. Nephew, I already crossed the line. Baby. I'm 
come in the film. Um, Rory is a, a mild manner. He's a humble guy, but you know it. He's having challenges in his within his marriage to April, but this movie enlightens him. Like, damn, maybe it's not that bad what I'm going through. Or well, you know, you can learn a lot. Like I say. So oh, yeah. So how can people reach out to you? What's your uh, Instagram handle, email, like Facebook? Okay. Um, my um, Instagram is Mr. Mr. Underscore eyes glue and um, Facebook, um, Robert Slocum. You got any special shout outs? Anything you want to add? I just want to. All the people who. I've been doing this for years, man. Everyone who's ever supported me, any uplifting words, any encouragement, people who hated on me, told me I wasn't going to do nothing. I appreciate them too. Um, my family, my close friends, man, they've always kept me uplifted. I want to thank my wife because it's not easy being married to an artist of any kind. And like I draw from my marriage, relationship experience, other stuff I've witnessed throughout the years, or just that whole way different aspect. So. That's what's up, man. Good job, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you. I'm sure you want to make this announcement tonight. I'm positive. These are our friends. We might as well get it over with. Plus, how are we supposed to host the next? Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Alright, so what's your name and what's your character name? My name is Brittany Williams. We say my old name, so y'all remember me. And my character name is April. Oh, so how did this project come about with, with you being a part of it? How did you catch this role? Um, I got a phone call um, and I was asked to play a role in this film. And of course I accepted. It was that simple. Oh, so did you know the person who called you? Who contacted yeah. you? Oh, yeah, my, my buddy Robert, he got Eyes Glue Production. Okay. <laughs> and um, it was random because it was an uh, Instagram message. He was like, you know what, you look like you can act. Come on through. And I was like, okay, yeah, I can act. So that's what happened. Okay. <laughs> so give, a, give me a brief description of your character. Okay, so my name is April in the film, and I am best friends with Maya. And I'm the one that always peeps stuff. So I'm the one that's always noticing things, and uh, I am the wife of who? Oh, my husband, Roy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am the wife of Roy, and Roy is best friends with, of course, Ellis. Ellis. Okay, and so I'm always on Roy's behind because I feel like he's trying to hide something. Give me that again. So you yeah. are. I'm the wife of Roy. Roy is best friends of Ellis. And of course my best friend is Maya, Ellis' um, wife. So I'm the one that's always peeping stuff when something looks like it's not going right or something fishy. Okay, so how was it, how has this project been the experience on set with the other cast members? How has that experience working with them? It's been fun. Um, a lot of them I kind of already knew and been friends with, so it was actually a really good experience. We all get along. It's just, it's been a really great experience. It's been really fun. Yeah, I had some funny bloopers. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of those. Okay. <laughs> all right, so how can people reach out to you? How can people contact you? Um, I'm on Instagram under Rod's Daughter, and I'm on Facebook under Brittany Williams. All right, thank you. Good job. My homeboy, Ellis. Uh, nice to meet you, Jane. Ellis, right? Yeah, it's Jay, bro. Oh, Jay, sorry. It's, it's fine. fine. What's your name, bro? My name is Robert Figueroa, and I'm portraying the role of Ellis. Okay, where you from? Uh, I was born in Brooklyn, New York, raised in Cobb County, Georgia. Okay, so what's the, give me a description of your character. Um, Ellis is a young, black, successful man, entrepreneur, um, uh, a 
uh, he got this position by working with his best friend that you'll see in the film. Um, he's loving life, living good, got a beautiful wife. But of course, you know, no man is ever really satisfied except for me, this ain't a problem. Mm. All right. Um, I love you, wife. Okay. So, <laughs> you got to put that in the film. All right. But, um, you know, I really enjoy playing the role of Ellis, getting the opportunity to, to you know, just kind of have some freedom. And um, although there are things I can't relate to, like I said, you know, being in love and being married, um, you also kind of see the outcomes of what happens when you're not faithful in a relationship. And so you'll kind of see how that kind of backfires on him. Even though he seems to be like this good, upstanding man, his flaws are showing like everybody has flaws. Okay, so how did how did it come about that you got this part for this role? Um, you know, the, the writer, the, the man, the real man of the hour, Mr. Slocum, you know, hit me up. We worked together um, on some other on some other projects. Um, he's real good too. The dude, it was real easy to work with him because we have a real friendship in real life. So it's real cool to be on <clears throat> to be in the film with him, work with him, and. Um, just have fun. So what was, how was the experience working with the other cast members? The experience was great. You know, I can't wait to hit up Jeju with Patrick. Inside joke. Inside joke. Back into that. <laughs> nah, but, no, nah, real talk, um, it was, we had a good time, man. You know, I really enjoyed working with everybody. Meeting a lot of those people I met for the first time, but we all able to click, you know, Beautiful people inside and out, it's just a good time. So if people want to catch you on social media, how can they reach you? They can catch me at MR underscore Fig, F-I-G, zero six on Instagram. All right, thank you, brother. Yeah, good man. job. Thank you. Um, you all have a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. But uh, now that we're done with all the formalities, let's get to it so I can take our All right, let's play. Woo! Who this down the hand? Action. What's up, friend? What's friend, friend? <laughs> <laughs> I so, so what's your name and give me the name of your character? I am Devin Barbie and my character is Maya. Okay, Maya, give me a brief description of who Maya is. Alright, so Maya is just happy, she's getting money, she's feeling sexy, she's living life and she's doing her. Now, um, my husband is actually Ellis, and uh, you know, me and him have a very interesting relationship. So, I don't tell y'all too much. I'm gonna have to check it out to see how interesting our relationship is. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, I'm kind of representing the Maya is representing what you would call an average female almost nowadays, mm, 2019. But, you know, y'all have to come check it out on Valentine's Day. I don't know all the people. Okay, so how did you come in contact with, with getting this part? Like, how did that happen? Okay, well, um, Rob Mann, you know, that's the homie, uh, very talented uh, guy. And I've done many projects with him before. So, you know, of course, when I got the call, the script, I was like, I'm down. Give me the, the time and the date and let's make it happen. <laughs> so. All right. So how can you, how can everybody reach out to you? You know, what's your social media? What's your Instagram handle? Okay, well, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at the real Barbie, B A R B E E E. Yep, and uh, that's why we are. Awesome. Thank you, Barbie. And that's right. a cut. So, did you did you know many of the cast members before or or right before the project? I would say I knew ninety percent of the cast before, and I handpicked pretty much. So. Okay, so so how would you rate this experience for this project? Was it was it difficult times? Was it how was it getting everybody together? Like what was the? No nah, man, it was great. It was a wonderful experience. Um, you would think for there to be so many novice and beginning actors, you that, pro, that level of professionalism was incredible. I'm like I'm greatly appreciative. And, you know, some people were called upon at the last minute. They stepped up and it made an incredible film. Okay. Well, it's definitely been an experience seeing some of the some of the scenes that was done. I got a chance to see some of the scenes that were very interesting. Seeing a little bit of drama. So I came to one of the sets while y'all were filming. That was awesome. I appreciate that. Um, so when does it drop? What's the date? And do you have any more opportunities for publicity, promoting any kind of way before the date drop? Um, talk will be dropped. The premiere is February 14th, 2019. That's actually Valentine's Day. 
and I chose that date because it's a relationship oriented film. So um, when you see this movie, whether you're in a relationship, a long term relationship, you're just dating, situationship, or married, you're going to get something from this film. It's going to make you reevaluate how you do things, and you're going to, as far as you're going to question like. What would I endure? What would I? When am I willing to take? What's my limit? You go on the question. How much would I fight for my love? And you know, you go on the question also the people you have around. That's the point. Yeah. I got to talk first now. Hi, everyone. So I'm just kind of looking over at uh, Jay. Like you said, she's a girl. Who are you? <laughs> nice, love it. What? Yeah, me. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> 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 you just realized. Folks, I was a mess. <laughs> <laughs>